One of the other things that I need to do is I need to make drawers under the lathe to put all the lathe stuff in because it sitting everywhere means I don't know what I have and that causes issues. So that is one of the next things I want to work on. To start, I'm going to make a basic frame. It's going to be a total of, the frame is 24 inches wide and 24 inches deep because that's how deep the shelf is. So inside length is 22 and a half and it's going to be 21 inches tall. So I'm going to just, instead of having solid top and bottom, I'm just going to put braces across, front and back, top and bottom, and that should save on wood. So I need four six inch wide braces that are 22 and a half inches long, and I need two sides that are 24 inches by 21 inches. So let's get that cut. So let's build a drawer frame. So I got the various pieces of wood figured out, and now to cut them and then attach them. I like these Rockler corner jigs. They make it fairly easy to attach three-quarter inch plywood. You can actually attach other stuff with this one as well, but mostly it's set up for three-quarter inch plywood. Lots of readjusting, lots of trying to get the pieces in order and get them sorted, but overall not too bad. And I got to use up some scraps and some new pieces of wood, so that combination works out pretty good. Well, the frame's done. I think that should work. I got three screws in each. I did these closer to five inches because that was a better use of the boards that I had and ended up doing three per top and bottom instead of two. But that should be fine. The one thing I needed to do was I needed to leave this gap in the front section because right in here is where that end of the lathe gets bolted down. So that way, if I ever need to move the lathe, I can just take the drawers out, reach up in, unscrew it, versus necessarily having to take the whole drawer piece out and drawer frame out. So next, I just have to make sure it fits. So let's try that. And it fits. Yay. It had me worried for a minute because this spot is a little tight. But luckily, with 21 inches versus anything more, it did slide in, and it matches where I want for the front. That should be good. And hopefully, to verify this, should be right up in here. There it is. Yeah. I can get to the lathe bolt. So it goes front to back, and then I can put a piece of plywood the whole way across the back to stiffen it up. So that'll be good. And I'm going to leave it open at first so that when I put the drawer slides in, I can easily get to the front and back because it's a pain to measure and get the spacing correct when you're doing drawer slides if you can't easily get to the back. So I did at least learn that on previous projects. Now to make some drawers. It took a while to figure out the sizing for those because I have a certain opening and <laughs> I ended up screwing myself up because I didn't have as much of the half inch plywood for the bottoms as I thought I did, so that threw off some of the sizing. So there you see the half inch pieces, and then I realized I don't have enough of that, so I had to use some warped 3 8 inch plywood, which caused extra havoc later, but I got it sorted out. Basically I had to make spacers to hold the bottom up because it was still rubbing on the bottom drawers. So now I'm just cutting all the other side pieces and getting them all sorted and cut, and now I'm working on fitting it together. And he, the Bottom corner pieces are other clamps, I guess, from Rockler that work basically just for three-quarter inch plywood. The combination of that plus the other ones would let you do drawers real easy, but I found that you, I didn't need the other ones. I could just use these. And then put all sorts of nails in the bottoms. I think that'll work. We'll find out. I can always add screws later, but I figured, well, I got the nails. Might as well use them. And then just the same process for the other ones. There you can see I had to hold the warped plywood down. Turns out even with doing that, it still was warping enough to pull down. So as you'll see later, I had to... Once I put them together and started putting them in, I realized I need a uh, brace to get that up better. So here again, lots of nails. I pretty much put those same nails in all the bottoms. It's, like I said, I think it's going to work. I'm not loading the drawers super heavy yet, so I think it'll be fine. And if I do, like I said, I can put screws in. 
but drilling it with a 16th inch bit, which was smaller than the nails, that gives it a bit of friction fit. And then there you can see all the drawers stacked together. And there they are. Well, sort of. <laughs> there they are. Now to install them. I have the Rockler uh, drawer slide install frame piece. I don't know what you call it. And initially I was going to try and use that piece of um, hole board, uh, pegboard, but then I realized I should probably use something different for the other ones because that's not going to be big enough. So luckily I had a piece of quarter inch, there you go, the quarter inch steel bar that I used to put the rest of them in. And I had to adjust them some because you can see on that second drawer it wasn't quite right and it was rubbing the back of the bottom drawer. And... Yeah, so I'm, I may end up having to tweak some of the drawer placement later, but I did get them adjusted after a while. There you can see I had to make those spacers that I had mentioned earlier and get them all just friction fit in place and then get them centered and screwed in. And you could fit like three pieces of paper under the center, but afterwards it was all nice and tight. So I think that'll work. And then here's where I realized, why do I have so much space? I have to re-figure re out how to put the top one in. And I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Oh, I know why. I just got to take that front brace off, and then that frame piece will fit. Because it was sticking up too far to get the top. But with the front corner piece off, I was able to put the top one on. And like I said, I had to play around. and Because that extra space, I put that one up higher. That will let me be able to shuffle the other drawers a little better and here I'm just trying to measure and get the handles on and that worked pretty much it's close enough I might put face frames on later uh, so I have it that's why they're stepped back in three quarters of an inch there I got them in there I got stuff loaded and I added some stuff afterwards that I found after I did the video well the drawers are in some minor issues but it's a garage project you should expect minor issues so I ended up using the Everbuilt full extension 22 inch soft close drawer slides and the Everbuilt 4 and 7 8 inch cheap drawer pulls because I'm, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put a face on the drawers so I left them back about three quarters of an inch approximately some of them are in or out a little bit better so yeah when I get to that point I'll have to adjust things this top one was a little bit of a pain to get installed just because, I had, as you saw, I had to take this top thing off to use my drawer positioner or slide positioner. And I also noticed that there's some other issues on places, but that's fine. Like, for example, <laughs> this one's down further than this side. But it goes in fine, so whatever. <laughs> and I had measured to try and put a quarter inch in between each the of the drawers and I somehow managed to have a lot more extra space than I thought so I must have changed this heights or oh I know what it is these were 3 8 instead of half inch I had measured to have this be half inch plywood but turns out I didn't have enough half inch so I had to go 3 8 that's where the rest of this came from all right that makes more sense now but in any case I got the lathe stuff in the drawers and I can get clear to the back which is nice so and it's not necessarily where stuff's gonna stay there's most of the lantern tool post stuff in the back here's the other tools that would use and in the top are the cut the indexable cutters some of the stock and I just tossed in the chuck so it's not sitting on the bench that way it'll get lost less maybe if it's in there and yeah and that one the top one doesn't close quite as nicely as the others it does if I shove it but so if I give it enough momentum it does but yeah that works. Now the only piece of stock that didn't fit was this little piece of square stock. That's a bit too long. That's what happens you just buy scraps. You get whatever length it is. 
So I think that's gonna work. At least that way I no longer have to have this or this, both of which were just sitting around. So that'll be less stuff sitting around and more stuff in a drawer. That will be good. And now I can put other stuff as needed in here. Figure out how to organize it, but I don't know where to put that motor. And this motor may go down with that motor because those are both three phase. Once I get the pulleys and stuff done for the cutter grinder, then I can swap that around and then I have to figure out what to do with that shelf. And yeah, process, process, lack of space, but drawers. So that's cool. So like I said, now I, get, now I can get rid of these things from sitting around because I don't have a need for those. So that will be good. And all my lathe stuff is right here. So if I'm doing, if I'm doing something and I need to swap, I pull this out, take this one out, put that one in and then go. And as you saw when I tightened it, this moved, I still have to redo the T-nut with the larger one that came with it versus the smaller one that came with the tool post because this slot is wide enough that I really need to take advantage of the whole slot versus just the small T-nut that came with that because it doesn't completely lock. See there, if I go this way, if I lock it, sometimes when I turn it, it moves. That's not supposed to do that. So lock it. Yeah. Because if it does that, that throws off all your positioning and everything else. So I still have to fix that. But it worked for brass when I was doing the brass testing. The stuff's in there and it's out of the way. And also because the drawers are back in, anything that falls down the front won't go in the drawer. So progress.